Jay, thanks very much. Well, folks in Salina still picking up the pieces here after a uh, wicked twister roared through their community. 13 ABC's Melissa Bage back out there today to see how residents are coping. Day two after the tornadoes down here in Salina and the cleanup, as you can hear, continues. You've got backhoes, you've got electric saws. This house in particular went down in 20 seconds. Elmer Stockler and his wife Sue had just celebrated their 40th anniversary. When the storm hit that night, they fled to the basement. He says it took all of 30 seconds. I looked at my wife, I said, honey, we just lost everything. They came up to face the damage. We look, walked out of the basement and you can see lightning. His neighbor Lori Robbins and her son heard the train sound and made a run for it. We barely made off the last step and stuff was hitting the windows. Um, we got in the small room and uh, got down on our hands and knees. A sound she says was deafening. I thought the house was going to come down on us. It was so loud. Her yard is now filled with neighbors and friends helping to clean up. You see this kind of stuff on TV and you think, oh, how sad for those poor people. And we are the poor people now. Shauna Stump's mother miraculously survived, she says. If you look inside there, there's debris all over the house except for the one spot where she was laying. There's a circle around her where there is no where she was laying, there is no debris. Shauna's mother's house is in a line where the tornado touched down and ripped out more than 10 houses. Ruth Hanna's uncle, Dale Hanna, lived three doors down. Dale Hanna was the first person to lose his life in the tornado when a car blew through his bedroom and landed right on top of him when he was asleep. Ruth says the loss has hit her family hard. You remember the good times, but it's, it was so sad and tragic. In Salina, Melissa Vach, 13 ABC Action News.